Do you need a mortgage broker marketing plan example? I'm Nick Carpenter from Legion of Loan Officers. Welcome back to Nil and Nick TV. Make sure that you're smashing that like button, the subscribe button. Leave me any comments or questions you have under this video and maybe that'll give me inspiration for future videos you know, because I want to be making the content that you want to watch. So today we're talking about mortgage broker marketing plan ideas or you know, if you need an example of a mortgage broker marketing plan, I'm going to sh or share with you one strategy that works. My caveat is that marketing is like Buddhism, right? There's 10,000 paths to enlightenment. And all you need, need to do is you need to pick one path that you like, that you want to stick with, that you can actually make work. So for some people, that's making Monday cold calls to realtors and inviting them out to coffee. That works for some people. For me, that doesn't work. So we created a better plan, or, or I don't even say better. I mean, it's just different, right? I mean, ultimately, our goal is the same, is we want to get more loans, right? It's no different than, I mean, whatever marketing you're doing or whatever strategies you're trying to employ, most likely, same reason you're trying to do that stuff, right, is just to attract realtors and actually grow your business. I use a live event strategy as the backbone for the business. So if you look at a calendar, you look at a normal four weeks, all right, week one is gonna be spent in promotion. All right, that's when you're gonna be promoting the event that you have coming up. It's when you're gonna be talking about that, inviting realtors, following up with them, making sure that your partners are promoting. Week one is all about promoting your live event. In week two, you're going to actually host your live event. So that's where you're gonna, you know, typically it's gonna be like on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you, got, if you need to practice, if you need to prepare, if you need to buy any lottery tickets or giveaway items or any of this type of stuff that's gonna help you have a better, more fun event, then make sure you're taking care of all of that stuff beforehand. Week two is when you're gonna be hosting the event. Occasionally, the hosting can move into week three, but week two is usually gonna be a little bit better. If you're towards the beginning of the month, you're gonna typically have a better uh, response rate, better show rate from the realtors than if you get towards the end of the month. So. That's why we like to actually host the event in week two. We're just talking about an example of a mortgage broker marketing plan here. I'm just giving you one idea that's been working for me and working for my clients really well. After you host the event in week two, the next thing we're going to do in week three is we're going to be following up with the realtors that you actually like. Let's just say, for example, our goal is to get 20 people to show up to each event. So let's say you got your full 20 people, okay? Odds are that you are not going to like all 20 people. You're gonna only like 12 of them or eight of them or whatever that number is, okay? So in, in case of follow-up, when I'm talking about following up, you are not required to follow up with every person, okay? If you didn't like them enough, to want to meet with them one on one and want to move a relationship forward there's nothing to follow up about just let them go if they come back to one of your future events that's fine maybe in in the future you'll feel differently about them but just don't waste your time on them right now what i usually find is for every 20 people that show up you'll probably follow up and set you know one on one appointments with about 10 to 12 of them and then from there you're going to find some more people that you didn't really like and you're going to be able to whittle that down. And, and ultimately the goal is where you can be able to convert about three people, you know, three realtors that come to your event. You can convert them into referral partners within the first 30 days of hosting the event. That's, that's ultimately the goal is how can we convert the realtors that show up. But we only want to be spending our time and courting and going through that process with the realtors that we like. There's just no reason to bother wasting time with, with realtors that you don't like. All right, so that's what week three is going to be all about. And then week four, you're going to be back into prep. Okay, so you're deciding where is your next class going to be? What's the date going to be? What's the topic going to be? Who's going to be hosting the class with you? And who's going to be your sponsors and your partners that are helping you fill the room? And that's what we're working on in week four. And then we're just right back into action, right? Week one, we're back into promotion. Week two, we're hosting. Week three, we're following up. And then week four, we're planning. And so that's a pretty simple process that you can follow. Now, it, 
that's not broken down into like daily tasks or something. I mean, if you need that, there's certainly systems out there that'll give you, hey, here's what you do on Monday, and here's what you do on Tuesday. I think it's better to be having a a, a bigger approach, right? So in, instead of it being like, hey, every Monday, here's what you're going to do. It's like, well, what week is it? I mean, if it's the first week we're promoting, second week we're hosting, third week we're following up, we're meeting with realtors, we're converting those people that attended the class into referral partners, we're finding our partners. You know, because it's going to take, you know, you're looking at about a 15% conversion rate on average. So for every 10 realtors that you get to show up, you're going to get one and a top half of a second, uh, you know, of, of a second partner. So if you want to get like two whole partners, then you're going to need to get whatever that number looks like to show up, right? I mean, what's that, like maybe 13 people or something, 15 people to show up. But if you get 20 people to show up on average, you're going to get three referral partners from that and just cycle through that process. Promote, host, follow up, plan, promote, host, follow up, plan, and you just stick with that, it's going to give you constantly reasons. I mean, when I think about a mortgage broker marketing plan, I mean, if you need ideas or an example of what that is, I mean, this is one anybody can go execute. It's going to constantly give you reasons to reach out to realtors, to meet them face-to-face -face in a group setting where you can demonstrate that you get, you know, you're chosen by people and things like this that matter. And then you can follow up and have the one-on-one -on -one meetings where you can actually then develop that into a relationship. Again, if you like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button. Leave me any comments or questions you have down below. Maybe there's a topic you want me to talk about in a future video. Let me know what that is. And uh, appreciate you for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Later.